Hey, we're getting right into the material. How to be free from pornography and masturbation in five minutes, five steps, actually one step. <laughs> Let's get into the material. So I think the best scenario to engaging pornography, sex outside of marriage, masturbation, is actually to see what the Lord Jesus has to say about lust, right? And this comes from Matthew 18. We're starting with verse eight. Wherefore, if thy hand or thy foot offend thee, cut them off and cast them from thee. It is better for thee to enter to life whole or maimed rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into everlasting fire. And if thine eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life with one eye rather than having two eyes to cast into hell fire. All right, I want to point out one very important distinction when it comes to how Jesus approached sin and also how Jesus approached lust, right? He said the cure for sin is actually to be mindful of hell, right? And he actually answered with the fear of the Lord, right? Because we are all going to be face to face with God Almighty on the day of judgment. And we're going to be held accountable for everything that we have done in our body, good or evil. So he actually said the answer for being free from lust, sin, and pornography is that you need to have a mindset that this sin will actually send you to hell and you will burn in fire forever. We don't preach hell no more, but Jesus when he was trying to help people with their sin issue, said you need a mind frame of holiness and the fear of God through hell, right? So that's number one. So this is what the Holy Spirit was telling me about like, hey, how to live like a godly lifestyle, live holy, or just to love God more, right? Because when you love God more, your ability to sin will be less because your appetite for God will be greater than your lust and your appetite for the world and what it's offering, right? And so how you love God more, Jesus said to me, essentially, look at the nails daily. Behold his crucifixion daily. You need to renew your mind in the gospel every day. No matter how long you have been saved, how long you have been in Christ, how often you read the Bible, you need to understand that all you know is Christ crucified. And so if he has died on the cross for your sins, you are free from sin. If you are dead in him, in him, if you are in Christ, you shall also live in him. So you have to remember that Every sin and choice you are making is another stripe on the cross when he died 2,000 years ago. So not another as in added, but those were the stripes he was taking when he was beaten, when the nails went through his palms and they pierced him in his side and through his feet. So that mindset of the judgment and wrath of God being upon him. Again, we are saying we are Christians and we love God, right? If I say I love Jesus and I'm okay with him being in pain, no. <laughs> so this is what you need. Like I'm telling you, you need two things to live a godly and holy lifestyle. You need number one, the love of God. And number two, the fear of the Lord. That is the only way that's going to keep you in godliness and holiness to read your Bible, pray, fast, forgive people, live humbly, right? And do what the Bible says. And so um, that's in short what you have to do. And so I just want to remind y'all that I'm providing the resource with Covenant Eyes, where it's an accountability app and software where you can download on your um on your desktop, laptop, and your mobile phone so you can not engage in sites or social media where it has pornographic or pornography um, in their material. And if you do engage in the material, it will notify your accountability partners. So again, it's free. I'm laying it out there um, in the description box below, an affiliate link, 30 days free. Try it out. And then remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe where you can also 
join our email list with a Bible study. I'm providing free Bible study at theblessingreport.com in the description box below. Join in and um, click on the next video where we are going into seven practical steps to defeat pornography. And ladies, I'm starting with you first because 45% of women engaged in masturbation. So we're covering um, tips to help women stop engaging in masturbation 